Hello my little learners today we will go through the questions and answers of chapter 7 temperature and its measurement from the class 6 curiosity textbook but before we dive into the questions let's first look at a quick summary of this chapter the temperature of a body tells us how hot or cold it is the three most used scales of temperatures are celsius scale Fahrenheit scale and Kelvin scale. The units of temperature in these scales are degree Celsius, which is denoted by degree C, degree Fahrenheit, which is denoted by degree F, and Kelvin, which is denoted by capital K. And the SI unit for temperature is Kelvin. Remember this: the SI unit for temperature is Kelvin. A clinical thermometer is used for measuring body temperature. and normal temperature of a healthy human adult is taken to be 37 degree celsius or 98.6 degree fahrenheit laboratory thermometers typically have a temperature range from minus 10 degree c to 110 degree c now let us enhance our learning question number 1 is the normal temperature of a healthy human being is close to dash and the options are 98.6 degrees celsius 37 degrees celsius 32 degrees celsius or 27 degrees celsius so students we know that normal temperature of a healthy human adult is taken to be 37 degrees celsius or 98.6 degree fahrenheit so the correct answer is option number 2 37 degrees celsius Question number two is thirty-seven degrees Celsius is the same temperature as dash, and options are ninety-seven point four degree Fahrenheit, ninety-seven point six degree Fahrenheit, ninety-eight point four degree Fahrenheit, or ninety-eight point six degree Fahrenheit. So let's convert thirty-seven degrees Celsius into Fahrenheit using the formula: degree Fahrenheit is equal to nine by five times degree Celsius plus thirty-two. Now substitute degree Celsius with thirty-seven and calculate. And by calculating, we see that we get degree Fahrenheit is equal to ninety-eight point six. So the correct answer will be option number four, ninety-eight point six degree Fahrenheit. Question number three. Fill in the blanks. The hotness or coldness of a system is denoted by its temperature. The temperature of ice cold water. cannot be measured by a clinical thermometer and the unit of temperature is degree celsius or degree fahrenheit question number 4 the range of a laboratory thermometer is usually dash so we know that the range of a laboratory thermometer is usually minus 10 degree c to 110 degree c so option 2 will be the correct option question number 5 Four students used a laboratory thermometer to measure the temperature of water as shown in figure 7.6. Who do you think followed the correct way for measuring temperature? Student 1, student 2, student 3 or student 4? Students, let's recall the correct way to measure temperature with a laboratory thermometer. So the bulb of the thermometer must be fully dipped in the substance without touching the container. and the thermometer should be kept vertically now if we look at the figure student 3 and student 4 have their thermometers touching the container which is incorrect student 1 is not holding the thermometer vertically which is also incorrect so only student 2 follows the correct method so option number 2 student 2 is the correct answer question number 6 color to show the red column on the drawings of thermometer as per the temperatures written below let's see first picture so it has 0 to 10 divisions so each line represents 2 degree celsius for 14 degree celsius color up to two small lines above the 10 degree c marks again for second picture it has 10 divisions so each line represents 1 degree celsius so for 17 degree celsius 
color up to seven small lines above the 10 degree C mark. For third, it has 20 divisions. So each line represents 0 0.5 degree Celsius. So for 7.5 degree C, color up to 15 small lines above the 0 degree C mark. Question number 7. Observe the part of thermometer shown in figure 7.8 and answer the following questions. Question number 1 is, what type of thermometer is it? So it is a laboratory thermometer because its measuring range begins from minus 10 degree C. And we know that a laboratory thermometer generally measures temperatures from minus 10 degree C to 110 degree Celsius. Question number 2 is, what is the reading of the thermometer? So the thermometer reading is 26 degree Celsius. And question number 3 is, what is the smallest value that this thermometer can measure? So the smallest value this thermometer can measure is minus 10 degrees Celsius. Let's see question number 8. A laboratory thermometer is not used to measure our body temperature. Give a reason. So a laboratory thermometer is not used to measure body temperature because it does not have a kink in its capillary tube. The kink in a clinical thermometer prevents the mercury from flowing back immediately allowing time to note the reading after removing it from the mouth or our body. Since a laboratory thermometer lacks this kink, the mercury level falls as soon as it is taken out of the body, making it impossible to record the correct temperature. Question number 9. Vaishnavi has not gone to school as she is ill. Her mother has kept a record of her body temperature for three days as shown in table 7.4. Now question is what was Vaishnavi's highest recorded temperature? So Vaishnavi's highest recorded temperature was 40 degrees Celsius. On which day and at what time was Vaishnavi's highest temperature recorded? So Vaishnavi's highest temperature was recorded on the first day at 7 pm. On which day? Did Vaishnavi's temperature return to normal? So the normal body temperature of a healthy human body is 37 degrees Celsius. So Vaishnavi's temperature returned to normal on the third day. Question number 10. If you have to measure the temperature 22.5 degrees Celsius, which of the following three thermometers will you use? Explain. So we should use a thermometer B. Because thermometer A can measure temperatures with a precision of 1 degree Celsius and thermometer C can measure with a precision of 2 degree Celsius based on their small line markings. But thermometer B is the only one with markings that allow for a precision of 0 0.5 degree Celsius which is needed to accurately measure 22.5 degree Celsius. Question number 11. The temperature shown by the thermometer in figure 7.10 is options are 28 degrees Celsius, 27.5 degrees Celsius, 26.5 degrees Celsius or 25.3 degrees Celsius. So 0 to 5 has 10 divisions. So each line represents 0 0.5 degrees Celsius. The thermometer reading shows 5 lines from 25 degrees Celsius. So the temperature is 27.5 degrees Celsius and the correct option is second option 27.5 degrees Celsius. Celsius. Question number 12. A laboratory thermometer has 50 divisions between 0 degrees Celsius and 100 degrees Celsius. What does each division of this thermometer measure? So the temperature difference indicated between 0 degrees Celsius and 100 degrees Celsius is 100 degrees Celsius. And the number of divisions between these marks are 50 divisions as given. So one small division can read 100 divided by 50 which is equal to 2 degrees Celsius. That is each division of this thermometer can measure 2 degrees Celsius precisely. Question number 13. Draw the scale of a thermometer in which the smallest division reads 0 0.5 degrees Celsius. You may draw only the portion between 10 degrees Celsius and 20 degrees Celsius. So there should be 20 small divisions between 10 degrees Celsius and 20 degrees Celsius. 
Question number 14. Komal tells you that she has a fever of 101 degrees. Does she mean it on the Celsius scale or Fahrenheit scale? So she is referring to the temperature on the Fahrenheit scale. Human body temperature does not normally go below 35 degrees Celsius or above 42 degrees Celsius, which corresponds to approximately 95 degree Fahrenheit to 107.8 degree Fahrenheit. Students, the temperature at the core of the sun reaches as high as 15 million degrees Celsius. Are there objects in the sky that have even higher temperatures? There is no limit on the highest temperature that can exist. However, as per scientific understanding, there is a limit to the lowest temperature that can be achieved. It is close to minus 273.15 degrees Celsius, which is equal to 0 Kelvin and is called absolute 0. That's it for today's students. Keep learning and stay curious. See you next time. Bye-bye.